everyone, absolutely and totally, yes guys, welcome back guys to my channel. So here in this video, I want to show you and share you my best trade of the month, uh, which was the Euro USD. Uh, there, there is my trade right here. I'm currently making over 363% return on my investment. Total profits is 7,260 euro and uh, you see it's very well. So now guys, in this video guys, we can exit this trade. I'm gonna take my money and walk away. Uh, so I have, uh, you know, changed my take profit levels and I have ch I also changed my stop loss levels. Uh, so guys, we're gonna talk about it uh, in this video. So let's get started guys. It's really, really exciting trade. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Guys, thing number one, how to find the best exit of your profitable trade. So you may ask, okay, so should I exit my trade now and take my money and walk away? Or should I little, wait a little bit longer, okay? And so and this is a big, big thing, okay, especially if you're a newbie trader. So the rule for this, guys, is to, to, to find the best exit of your trade, make sure that you do your technical analysis as well as make sure that you're up to date with fundamental analysis, the news, what's happening in the news. So regarding technicals, guys, uh, it's really, really, you know, colorful because look at this. So Euro USD, we always start analyzing from the daily and for our charts. So what do we see? We see interesting picture. We see that the Euro could fall as low as this area right here. Okay. Uh, yeah, from, from this point to this point. So and we always take into consideration the spikes in the bodies and large time frames. Okay. Uh, so, but again, so it hasn't. So, uh, and this one, but what's happening now, okay? Now the euro is testing this support area, okay? This one. This one right here. So let me delete this. But I'll, you know, let me delete, yeah. So this one, this support area right here. This, it's, it's t testing this area right here. You see this doji candle right here? Uh, it's testing this one. And uh, so what's gonna happen now? It can, it can smash through. Oh, uh, you know, we can test this, uh, this line right here. And then it can go up, okay. But uh, you know, you, uh, but the thing is this: that based on the fundamentals, there is big, big uncertainty because of the you know the corona and all that in Europe. So uh, nobody knows what's going to happen, you know, because they're still waiting on vaccines, you know, they're still waiting on the test results for for those vaccines and the trials and all that crazy mumbo jumbo. Uh, so there is big thing, big uncertainty. And when there is big, big uncertainty, okay, it's always best to be safe rather than to be sorry. So um, I bec and basically, okay. Long story short, I want to exit this Euro USD right now. So let's uh, for, let, let me do my analysis now. Next step: four-hour chart. And what do we see on a four-hour chart? What we're gonna do now is we're gonna place Fibonacci retracement on a four-hour chart to see the big picture. We place Fibonacci from the highest to the lowest points. So from the highest to the lowest point and the last candle. This was the lowest point. And this is the last candle. Yeah, the body is in spike. Yeah, the body is in spikes. So the spikes, on large time frames, we always always take into consideration the spikes. Uh, I think there was a little mistake. Yeah, no, I don't, no, 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 I don't like it. Okay, there was a little mistake. Uh, the body, the, the spikes. Okay, so let's place it again. Come on, do it, Andrew, quickly. Spike, spike. Now, okay. Now we can see that um, it's smashing through our support. Okay, nicely. So let's take a look at an hourly chart and see what's going to happen next, okay? Okay, and now what we can see that uh, this hourly candlestick smashed through very important support, okay? But it's still on the pivot point, it's still in pivot line. If I saw the candlestick that opened exactly below the Fibonacci retracement pivot point, that's great! It means it's going to still go down, okay? No matter what. Okay, it doesn't matter which currency pair you trade, if you're wondering if it's gonna go up or down, you know, simply go to the four hour time frame. Let's do it again. Four hour time frame, Fibonacci retracement, highest point to the lowest point. Let's be, yeah, let's go here. Okay, so which is the highest point? This is the highest point. This is the lowest point. And this is the last candle. Only include, you know, go from spike to spike. We, we take into consideration spikes on large time frames. So now it's gonna be, it's an interesting picture. So what do we see guys actually? What do we see? We see that, wow. 
we see that uh, now it's next step number three go to the one hour time frame and if we see hourly candlestick which i actually see if you see hourly candlestick below our uh, support pivot point it's gonna mean that the price is gonna go back down gonna go down even more and i can see it already did it okay i think so looks like, yes it did it it did it right here okay so it's fantastic so based on the fibonacci retracement sorry i think i didn't place fibonacci retracement correctly in the, in the first part of this video so uh so so make sure guys that you do fibonacci you know accurately and yeah so what do we see we see that the price broke out here okay, nicely so it's gonna it's so it so it can go as low as this area right here now, uh, if it did find any support, make sure that you watch five minute chart, you know, and five minute chart, what do we see? We see, a, uh, we see higher, we see lower highs. We see significantly lower highs, you know, since, since long, you know, since already two days ago, three days ago, which is nice. Since, yeah, since, uh, yeah, since two, three days ago, and let's say about a week ago, so there is no surprises here. So what's going to happen now is that uh, price will either consolidate. Uh, let me just go to that one hour. Is there any any place where you can consolidate? Aha, uh -huh, there is. So it's, there's two options. Either it's going to consolidate or, uh, around this area, which I hope it will not. Okay, I hope it will not. But this is our next support area, as you can see. In the middle of our Fibonacci retracement pivot corridors, okay? So this is our corridor. Tran, 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 tran. This is a support in the middle of this pivot corridor. So we know that gold can actually test it and, you know, uh, sorry, the EURUSD can actually test it and go, uh, and go back up from here, which would be bad for my trade. So not gold, I mean here are USD. I was making gold video before this video and my head is a little bit confused. So make sure you don't never get confused with your trades. Yeah, and uh, let's take a look at five minutes. Okay, five minutes. And five minutes, five minute candlesticks. Just take a look at the candlestick patterns, guys. It's very important to understand candlestick patterns. So what do we see in the candlestick patterns? And just, just in this area, what do we see? You know, we see that there, you know, we see that there is, you know, that there is, there is quite good, interesting, you know, structure and pressure from the bottom pushing the price up. We can see, you know, but we can see that this happening with these candlesticks right here. So, so what I would do is I would delete this, and uh, yeah, so uh, so uh, or so parabolic SAR is, you know, stating that you know that the price is going down. Regarding our two, exp two exponential moving average lines, which is 365 and 180, uh, these two lines, they suggested price is going down. But uh, I feel that just about now, uh, Euro USD is, you know, found its uh, support uh, and it's testing it right now. Yeah. Yeah. So what I would do, guys, I would actually. I should take my money and welcome away. I already lost to like a 130 euro. Okay, okay. It's best rather to be safe than to be than to be sorry. But based on this, it looks like the you know euro found uh, this support. Okay, and it's gonna test it, and you know, and, and it can go back up up until this level. And so it's gonna be significant. Okay, so I'm ta I'm get taking money and I'm, I'm walking away. So one, two, three. Ah, here we go. Usually when I want to get the, the most of my trades, you know, the most of the profits, the broker free freezes, you know, and doesn't let me close the trade. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Best trade of the week. Okay, so two weeks and uh, two weeks and four hours, I was able to make 364%, 0 0.87. Uh, so in total, I was able to make 7,297 euro and 34 cents. One single pair, Euro USD, uh, one single investment. My investment was 2,000 Euro, uh, and I made 7.2, 7.3k, uh, I should say, 7.3. So this is a 300 Euro, okay? 297 is, so 7.3k. Here we go, guys. If you want to copy my signal or signals from my signals group, then guys, you're welcome to join my academy, incommentorbox.com, because every single academy member will get to enjoy the signals from my signals group. 
here is the signals group and these, these are the signals and the results. Yeah, uh, and it's just, you know, every single member will enjoy these signals every single day, you know, with no extra charge, you know, okay? there's no extra charge for these signals. Uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, but please guys remember that it's all about education and practice, okay? Please remember that you need to combine the fundamental news, okay? And the, and the, and the, and the technical, technical analysis together in order to generate profits from day-to-day -day basis Okay, remember guys, it's not just about being profitable today and losing trades tomorrow and then being profitable after tomorrow. It's, it's, it's about being profitable from day to day basis and it's, be in, it's about being able to generate profits, you know, uh, from, you know, in the long run uh, when it comes to trading, okay? So please make sure guys you understand it, you know, and please trade responsibly and safely, you know. If you're a newbie, make sure you invest minimum lot size, you know, minimum leverage, you know. Uh, and, and, and start from there, okay? And always remember that all of these websites are free where you can gain your information when it comes to fundamental news or uh, what I'm using here is a tradingview.com, you know, tradingview.com, uh, the, the, the free charting solution. Yeah, guys, so thank you for watching this video. If you need help in trading, guys, if you need help in trading, please email me. And also, guys, make sure you visit my website, Andrew's Trading Channel. Get your free ebooks, okay, for free. Get your free ebooks and join my, uh, join yeah, read my blog and join my free Telegram channel and follow my socials. I love you guys all and see you again on the next time. Bye bye.